Casualties of War, Women and the Regime is a documentary about parental alienation and corruption in the family law court system in America. It basically takes the stories from the people that were silenced by the family law court system in America and gives a voice. For example, in family court, a lot of times people don't get to, to share their stories. Now, everyone is familiar with baby mama drama or deadbeat dad or child support issues, but no one has any idea just how bad this problem is because until you get in it, that, you have no idea. I really and truly feel that I was put on earth to do. It was nothing that I just set out and said, you know, I'm going to do a documentary about parental alienation and corruption in the family law court system. No, that's not how it happened at all. In fact, the way it happened is that I went through a very, very nasty, long divorce process. And in doing so, it ended up in a custody battle and me not being allowed to be in my son's life like a father should be and a mother should be. And so I started going to court and losing in court. Like, I ain't do nothing wrong. Like, why do I got to prove that I'm a good father? Like, when we was married, I was a good father. Why do I have to prove that I'm not a good father? So everything was going all bad in court. So I started reaching out to different groups on Facebook. And I ran into the Father's Rights Movement. And I met a guy named Tom Fiddler. And Tom Fiddler then introduced me to Neil Shelton. And the, it kind of just snowballed from there. And I started meet, uh, meeting and talking and reaching out to other people. And initially, I was like, wow, this is such a ubiquitous problem that I need to do a movie about this so that the world and America can know just how bad this is. So I started talking to more people, and as I started diving deeper and deeper into it, doing more research and meeting people all across America, I realized that, no, I can't do a movie on this because I don't want this to be my take on it. I don't want it to be a one-sided story. So I decided to do a documentary, something that was facts and vetted and backed up by statistics. And so that's how the documentary came so about. People have no idea just how corrupt the system is, but I'm going to give you a couple examples. One, there's a thing called Title 4D of the Social Security Act. Title 4D incentivizes the states to create a need for child support. The way they do that is by alienating one parent from the other. Most of the times, it's the father. And in doing so, they create this child support collection process. And in that child collection process, they get fees, what they call processing fees. So there's a minimum of 23 million alienated parents in America. The majority of us are on child support. If I pay $1.50 a month, $1.50 of my child support every month goes to processing fees. So if you got 23 million people paying $1.50 a month towards processing fees, this is the first step in how the family law court system has become a $50 billion a year industry. Then I can go to Title IV-E of the Social Security Act where they will take two fit parents and take the child and put the child in foster care while the courts decide which child gets uh, which parent gets the child and again because they get a kickback for having the child in foster care i mean i could go on for days about this this is a there's no color a lot of times people think that this is a black they're trying to tear the black family up well this is bigger than that because there's no color the only color is green it's a 50 billion dollar a year industry and the government doesn't care who they hurt what's the best interest of, for the child what's the best interest for the parent none of that stuff comes into play all they're about is the money and no one really knows about this they're violating our god-given constitutional rights and awareness is what is going to allow the masses to get behind this movement so that we can demand change because the majority of america's social ills are due to fatherless homes 90 percent of children of youth in prison were raised by single moms 85 percent of rapists were raised by single moms the stats go on and on and now this suicide the suicide rate amongst 
not just fathers, but parents going through this corruption is raising, is, is growing every day. And this documentary will show from every different angle testimonies from different races, financial background, social economic backgrounds. It doesn't matter. It's a ubiquitous problem spread across the world, and we have voices that are going to show just what the corruption in the system is doing to America and how the majority of America is affected by it. And had fathers remain in the homes and mothers remain in the homes, because it goes both ways. There are some cases. So 85% of the times, it's the mother that does this to the father, but there's 15% of the times that the father's doing this to some mothers. And... Every child deserves both parents. You will see you stories mean? from every side of the coin. We got mothers, fathers, children, doctors, lawyers, therapists. Uh, we have some, some people that are murderers that are in the documentary that swear that if their father would have been in their life, they wouldn't have killed those people. We have, uh, there's a, person in the film that I went to interview him and I did the interview and he attempted suicide before but now has since committed suicide but you will walk away from this film learning just how corrupt it is and what actually is taking place and we need you all to join in because the repeal is real we need to repeal title 4d title 4a title 4e and demand an amendment to the constitution so that we can get the change that's needed to help this corrupt system and to make the world a better place for all of us so the documentary is going to premiere here in atlanta on september the 14th at 7:30. At the 3D Complex on Panola and Covington. Panola Road and Covington. And it's called the 3D Complex. But you can also go to eventbrite.com slash casualties We also premiere September the 18th in Washington, D.C. Because there is a million parent march on September the 18th that's taking place in Washington, D.C. And at the Landmark Theater on East Street at 7 p.m., the documentary Casualties of War will premiere in Washington, so, D.C. If you go to Yaya McLean, that's Y A H Y A M C C L A I N, Yaya McLean on Facebook, you, there's two different pages. If you go to uh, Twitter, it's Yah Baller, Y A H B A L L A, and Instagram is Yaster, Y A H S T E R. But Casualties of War US. That's my website that has all the information you need. Casualties of War US. And remember, every child deserves to have both parents in their lives. All right, y'all. I'm Yaya McLean with Casualties of War, and I'm rolling out.